the loss of children. My, my, my young army men will always be before me, fighting for me, and will win every war. But let's see what the Lord said. Read. Her sake, therefore, shall her plagues come in one day. In how many days? In one day. Death and, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. She shall be utterly burned with fire. Now, we made a statement that this is going to happen before Christ. You're going to find out that this burning with fire will culminate from World War III. With the battle they have with Iran, which will lead to Jack getting in, China and all those other countries getting in the war. Okay? And eventually, Europe is going to turn against this country. According to the Bible, this will happen before Christ comes back. When he says it shall be burned with fire, we want to show how it will be burned and who will burn it. Okay? And by you seeing this and going through these scriptures, you will know yourself that this is before Christ breaks the atmosphere. We're going to prove it. Finish reading. For strong is the Lord Most High who judgeth her. How, how will the Most High judge her? I need you to hold that because we're going back to Revelation 18. How will the Most High judge her? Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 51. How will the Most High judge her. Let's see if this is Christ coming back to destroy America and pick people up in UFO. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Start at Jeremiah 51 and 1. Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that arise up against me a destroying wind. Hold and up. Oh, 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 oh. I want you to read that again. Pause for one second. Hold up. Don't pause you better pick it up, right? Right. Okay. How will the Most High judge Babylon? We're going back to Revelation because we have to stick back there. But let's go into Jeremiah 51. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. So the Lord says he will rise up a destroying wind. Read on. And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. So he's going to send fanners up against Babylon that will empty the land. This is showing me two things. Number one is showing America's we have to leave America, that's number one. Number two, whether you leave or not, eventually this place will be empty. But you can stay if you want, but the scriptures say Babylon is going to be empty. He's going to send fanners. What do a fanner do? A fanner fans the smoke so the fire can burn. Read on. Verse 3. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. Let the who bend the bow? Let the archer bend his bow. So now you have the Persians, which are the Medes, the Iranians, who are doing what? Building nuclear missiles. You have Russia, who have nuclear missiles. They're bending their bow. You have China, who have nuclear missiles. This is not Christ doing this. He's, he's putting a spirit on the nations to bend the bow to destroy this place we call America. This is before Christ come back. Read. Let the archer bend his bow and against him that lifted himself up in his, in his brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. The Lord says he's going to put the spirit on these nations to destroy all her hosts. That's everyone that's living here. Read. Verse 4. 
Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power. And the Lord is going to allow these countries to do this because we have not been forsaken. We know we haven't been forsaken because the Lord told us, Come out of her, my people. Three. Though that land was filled with, with sin against the, against the Holy One of Israel. So even though our land was filled with sin, the Lord still is forgiven us, allowing us to come back. Read on. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. Hold up. First he said, come out of her, my people. All right. Now he's, he's saying what? Flee out of the midst of Babylon. The Lord is saying, leave, my people. Flee. Run. Something is about to happen. I have not forsaken you. I'm warning you before the arrows come that I prophesied will come. We're going to hold this for a second. We're going to sit there. We're going to go back to Revelation. We're going to hold it. Take our time with it. Because we're coming back to Jeremiah 50, 51. Right? But let's go back to Revelation. Where you left off at in Revelation 18? Revelation 18 and 8. Revelation 18 and 8. Let's read it now. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. The Lord is going to put the spirit on the other countries to build missiles. That's why your George Bush is going to war with everybody, to try to stop the prophecy. But he can't. Right now, America is fighting on almost three fronts. Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran, trying to stop this from happening, trying to stop everyone from getting missiles because George Bush read the Bible. Okay? Hold that for a second. Revelation 18 and 8, right? Let's read Revelation 18 and 8. Come on. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord, power who judgeth her. She will be utterly burned with fire. That's crystal clear. How? The Lord is going to put the spirit on the other nations to make missiles and burn her. So even though George Bush might fight on all these different fronts to try to stop what he called weapons of mass destruction, these weapons have already been made. They've already been prophesied out of the Bible to come to the country we live in. Okay? Finish reading Revelation 18, the ninth verse. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall be well her. Shall do what? Shall be well her. Go ahead. And lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. That's how you know Christ hasn't come back yet. Because when America is destroyed, the other nations that have laid down with her and got rich from her will be in the earth mourning over her. They'll be crying. So that means people are still here. Civilizations are still going on. This is being reported all over the earth that America has been hit. Christ is not back yet. Okay? Read on. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment. For one hour is thy judgment. Now, of course the Lord is behind it because he's behind these politicians and he's allowing the angels to help wage these wars that's bringing this to a culmination, that's bringing this to an apex where Christ come at the very end and take down the rest. Okay? It's like America is a superpower. So before Christ actually coming to the earth, the superpower will already be out of the way. How do we know that? Because in Revelations, the 18th chapter, I mean, Revelations uh, 17, it tells us here, matter of fact, I'll read it, I'll read it right here. Revelations 17 and 16 says, and the ten horns, we know the ten horns is the EU, the European powers, which thou sawest upon the beast, these 
shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. 